The country of Greece is incredibly diverse. For example, when you go up into the northern regions of the country towards Thessaloniki, people typically have higher levels of Paleo-Balkan and Balto-Slavic related DNA. And when you go down towards the south, towards the Dodecanese, people typically have higher levels of both Anatolian and Levantine related admixture. You know, what's really interesting about the Greek people, guys, is that their DNA can be underpinned by three ancestral Bronze Age migrations. We are going to look at the Greek genome through a variety of different time periods to understand who these people are through a genetic perspective. Over here, I've got a Stone Age DNA breakdown of the average Greek genome. And interestingly, what we see is that around 60% of their DNA is Anatolian Neolithic farmer related. Now guys, the Anatolian Neolithic farmers were one of the first people to discover agriculture and they migrated into Greece well over 9,000 years ago. These Anatolian Neolithic farmers mostly belong to the haplogroup G2A, which today is found in high frequencies in Sardinia. As a matter of fact, the Sardinians are over 82% Anatolian Neolithic derived and serve as the best representation for these ancient people. But if we take a look at this breakdown one more time, what we see is that around 23% of their DNA is Caucaso-Iranian related. And that's because guys, during the Bronze Age, there was a migration of Eastern Anatolians. These Eastern Anatolians belong to haplogroup J2. It would be the infusion of these G2A and J2A people, which would lay the foundations of the Minoan civilization. Compared to the ancient Greek, the modern Greek has more European DNA. Ancient Greeks had components of European DNA because of the Indo-European migrations, as well as this inherent Paleo-Balkan source. But because of the Slavic migrations of 600 AD, the Greek genome was impacted. Over here, I've got an Iron Age DNA breakdown of a Greek person from Thessaloniki. And as we can see, the majority of their DNA is derived from this Anatolian and Aegean source, but they've got around 20% Paleo-Balkan, Illyro, Thracio, Dacian related DNA, as well as around 20% Slavic DNA as well. The modern Greek populations most similar to the ancient Greeks are actually the Dodecanese and the Cypriot Greeks. As we can see from this genetic breakdown, the Dodecanese have around 77% of their DNA from this Anatolian Aegean source, but additionally they've got Levantine related DNA which comes from contacts Greek people have had with Levantine related groups like the Phoenicians. And there you go guys, for the most part these are the key migrations which encapsulate the Greek identity. Obviously there's a lot more complexity to this because I've had to summarize all the information for you, but for the most part the Greek identity is encapsulated by this Aegean and Anatolian core overlaid with a European genetic input. And as always guys, if you've done an existing DNA test like 23andMe, Ancestry DNA, MyHeritage, and you're interested in having your own personalized DNA reading, I offer comprehensive DNA analyses where I can tell you all the ancient civilizations you're related to. So if you're interested in having your DNA analyzed by me, make sure you check the link out of my bio.